What I hear most about from companies are their concerns about increasing uncertainty and higher costs. So the administration has a chance this week with respect to NAFTA to make a dent in both of those kinds of concerns. When, Talks. Uh, yeah, the concerns uh, at this point are, I still seem like they're, they're would be reflected in numbers into the future and there's still time to, uh, to pull, pull us back from the brink. Or, or no, I mean, it, we're gonna have a pretty good GDP number again, I think. Well, uh, the economy is doing well right now, but what we're not so sure about is how much investment is going in that um, will affect the next quarter and subsequent quarters because, again, of the increasing concerns about the uncertainty of our trade partnership with not just Mexico, Canada, um, but with the EU and with China as well. So if the administration can strike a deal with Mexico this week and then bring in Canada, it would be big. It would be important for a couple reasons. First of all, it would put to rest some of the uncertainty about NAFTA continuing. As you know, the president has made threats to withdrawal from that agreement. And in addition, it would show countries, including China, that we do know how to strike a deal, a deal that can work for all sides when we want to. Right, instead of the zero-sum uh, idea that, that there's going to be a winner and a loser. We, we've heard that mm -hmm. if we were to do Mexico first, that you can't do it. It takes 120 days to do But if we had a deal in place, it wouldn't matter that it gets pushed back. We could still go to Canada and say, come on, let's, let's talk. Well, what the administration is trying to do, and it's an ambitious timetable, is wrap up the talks with Mexico in the next week, really, and then bring Canada back to the table. Canada has time to think about whether it can make an improved offer on dairy, which is important to the administration. But we'll have to see if that will be enough for the administration to then be able to reach a deal with both countries. There's not a lot of time left, as you point out, Joe, because any agreement has to be presented to Congress three months before the president intends to sign it. Right. And so we have a new Mexican president coming in on December 1st. So, yeah, so it's... Timing does uh, does become an issue. If you had to bet money, how far along do you think we get in these tariff tranches with uh, with China? Do we do we get to two hundred billion? Do you th does that ever happen, or or is it something? Do we do we come to some type of of agreement before then? Well, that's the uh, two hundred billion dollar question. I think it's good news that there is a Chinese delegation visiting, led by Vice Minister Wang, and there will be talks at a fairly senior level with the Treasury Department this week, but not so senior that they can't also get into details. And this is important because we're already uh, in a trade war with China, um, $34 billion of tariffs on both sides, and this Thursday another $16 billion are going to kick in mostly on industrial goods, but the next round of potentially $200 billion is going to focus more on consumer products and affect everything from bicycles to wedding dresses to lots of products that consumers would then see price increases on uh, at the stores or else companies would have to absorb those costs. So either we see higher prices for consumers or we see an impact on the bottom line, neither of which helps the U.S. economy. We would see how quickly with with the 200 billion businesses would almost immediately see we, we'd start seeing some effects there right i mean we don't want to get there is that I mean, that that would be a a very bad outcome for for the overall economy you think it would take a point off gdp half a point what what, what do you think it's tough to say it's it's hard to measure the precise economic impact i can say that we're going to see price increases we've already seen some uh, Coke has announced price increases. Harley Davidson's announced that it's going to be taking some of its manufacturing overseas. And neither result is one intended by the administration, but that's one of the casualties of a trade war.